So I'm now in an area that uh, used to be known, I believe, as Old Hickory Lane. And this land here used to have the house of Johnny and June Cash overlooking the lake there. How beautiful is that? So, as we know, Johnny Cash passed away in 2003. And in 2006, his house was sold to Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees. Unfortunately, during renovation in 2007, the house burnt down. But we can still see the, uh, the remnants of the house. And I'm gonna have a little wander down and show you that. I can't get over that view. That is absolutely beautiful. Right, let's go and uh, see what we can see. That's sad that the house burnt down. Wow, well, I'll find some pictures online and insert them of how it used to look. is quite spectacular. Lots of people come out and visit. There's some, some more people down there. Just uh, We actually saw them at the cemetery too. Wow, that view. So it's been sold again and um, I guess somebody else now is in the in the throes of renovation of some sort. Wow. Nice lake view, absolutely gorgeous. the estate started way down there and finishes way way up there by the end of the um, stone wall and um, I'll take you up there a little bit further to see but there are some um, plaques that we can read as well that talks about it and there's an um, interesting story about the land further up that I shall tell you about that so it's really quite awesome to be here so I'm guessing this would have been his driveway maybe the security there because that gives that a sort of a impression doesn't it but Johnny Cash would have driven through here up to his house up there that beautiful view let's see what the plaque says the cash home in case you doubt me You can read that, I'm not going to read it to you. Yeah, so uh, over, I oh, overlooked Old Hickory Lake. Here, Johnny and June Carter Cash entertained family, friends, and neighbours for 35 years. Wow. Beautiful. Hey guys, so as I was saying, the property next door used to belong to Roy Orbison. Now, unfortunately, um, whilst Roy was away in England on tour, and I'll tell you more about this when we um, when we go and visit some graves later, but when Roy Orbison was um, away on tour, um, his house burnt down. Um, his parents were looking after his three boys, three young boys. Um, two of the lads died in the fire. Um, and later, Johnny Cash purchased the land from 
Roy Oberson, and he planted an orchard and some flowers um, where the house stood as a con- sort of, as a memorial, really, to, to the children of Roy Oberson who died in that fire. Um, and I will tell you about that in another video in, in full fuller details. But But yeah, so let's go and have a look at that. This kind of looks like the type of thing I've been reading about, that the area where uh, Johnny Cash planted flowers and stuff, but there's a plaque further up um, with regards to Roy Robinson's house that burnt down. That kind of looks like an area where a house could have been, I guess, but we'll go and read the plaque. Johnny's house would have been down there. This is so beautiful. Is it Johnny Cash's former home? Is the home that was that he purchased for his parents? So Ray and Carrie, Mama Cash used to live in this house here. Wow. So historic, huh? Beautiful. So he used to live right opposite Mum. And Roy Orbison lived here. So here we go. This, um, oops. So restoring the orchard. This space is sacred ground. Stuart also honoured Johnny Cash's promise to Roy Orbison never to build on this site. So he's kept that promise. He's restoring the orchard, but he's not going to build on it. And here we are, the orchard. In 1968, Johnny Cash's good friend Roy Orbison sold him the land after fire destroyed his home and took two of his three sons' lives. So sad. Cash promised Orbison never to build on the site when the abundant fruit trees and grapevines that flourished were maintained personally by the Cash family the orchard came to fruition and so the new owners are honouring that honouring that for his promise to Roy Orbison wow Beautiful wall. So you can't really um, see too much, but it's nice to know that the area is going to be preserved as a sacred ground in honour of the two Orbison boys that passed away in the house fire. Roy Orbison had some tragedy in his life, didn't he? He really did. His wife Claudette passed away in a motorcycle accident. And then two of the boys he had with her also died. Crikey. So yeah, formerly, formerly even, Roy Orbison's property. And then we've seen um, the Johnny Cash property further down there. So because the video is entwined, I'm going to include Johnny Cash and Roy Orbison in this one video. How beautiful. There you go, guys. What an awesome, absolutely stunning area to live with the lake just, just over there. You, you can see why people want to live here. I want to live here. That's without the music history.